can fit right in here. Like even in the back? The, the back of the seat, the seat pocket. The seat. Oh, yeah, that's, that, that's fine. Hey guys, it's Colin Colley with Studios here. We are at Bush Gardens, obviously, as you can see that massive coaster in the distance that's not open. Thanks, SeaWorld. Anyways, though, I'm excited to come here for my first time and ride everything else that's not named Gwazi because it's not going to open. But whatever, can't do anything about it. But uh, because we are pass holders for SeaWorld, get to park and preferred, which is a massive help to get in early. Um, and yeah, looking forward to a really good day here at Bush Gardens. So um, after we got in the park, first we got photo key and then we went and rode Cheetah Hunt. Cheetah Hunt was kind of hilarious because as Bob had told us, it was really mild. It was still fun though, just a very mild family coaster. From there, we went to Cobra's Curse. This Cobra's Curse was pretty cool too. Very, very similar in thrill level to Cheetah Hunt. Then we rode Montu in the back row. Montu's awesome. Um, definitely want to ride it a little later on when uh, it warms up. Warms up. But that was really intense, really cool with all the trenches. I think now we're going to get Chris, his 150th coaster. I guess we're going to Kumba. If Kumba or Shrieker, whichever one we wind up getting to. Um, but yeah. But so far, really, really great day here at Bush Gardens, Tampa. that cracked out thing over there with the dog and fury that is definitely probably the most insane drop tower i've ever been on i know chris was freaking out at the top when we first started turning that definitely <laughs> freaked him out a bit but that was that was awesome um now we're gonna go get chris's 150th credit on kumba over here very excited to ride this scene so many pictures and videos of it and never got to see it until I'm now excited to rewrite it after 25 years for that and montu he, ha he hasn't been here since the 90s when montu and kumba first opened so this is definitely gonna be an interesting experience for you i bet yeah so let's do it Kumba twice. That was Chris's 150th. That was so intense. Uh, we rode it front and back. That was really good, right, Dad? Yeah, that was really good. I think now we're going to head over to either Sheikra, Tigris, or both, and hopefully find something to drink, too, because we're very thirsty.
So we've ridden almost every coaster now. We're just missing uh, Scorpion and Sand Serpent. We're over here in this kangaroo enclosure. These guys are pretty chill. <laughs> well, here we are at Iron Gwazi. I wish I could say we just got off of it, but it's not open. It's probably not going to open until next year, which is foolish on SeaWorld's part, but whatever. Nothing we can do now. All we can do is just stare at this insane looking ride inside this, just like we did with Icebreaker, but this one hurts that much more. They have everything ready to go, too. Bush Gardens is basically done. Um, as you saw in the last clip, we did that River Rapids ride. It was really fun. Definitely what Great Adventures should be. Uh, I just saw the last train on Montu get dispatched as those clouds are approaching in the distance. Uh, I'm sure everything's going to be shut down for weather now, which means we're just going to go souvenir shop and head out. So that's probably going to end off my vlog from here. We got out on everything really, really quickly. So the six o'clock closing time really didn't matter. Um, I would definitely say my favorite of the park was Kumba, which might be unpopular, but I did like Montu as well. It was very fun. Overall, just a great day here at Bush Gardens, Tampa. A very hot day, but a very fun one. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All of them. Every one of them. Where's the biggest one you know?